Alright guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Chris. In today's episode, we're going to be making this beautiful ash, curly ash, natural forest. See how this is made. Me taking a few shots at the end. Stick around. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so it's come time for me to select my natural. And I've got a few different bits on the table here. I've got oak, 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 ash, oak. Willow, eucalyptus, willow. I've already made a start on this one. Um, I'm not going to use this one. I'm not going to use any of the big oaks because I have plans for them. Um, so really, I think I'm going to use... This would be the safe bet because it's a simple fork. But I think I'm going to use this chunkier ash. A bit more work in it. But see the way it's all chunky and rippled and knobbly there's going to be some nice green patterns in there so this is what we're going to use let's get started okay first of all we're going to determine a width and i'm going to go with 90 millimeters which is actually quite low down on this but i'm going to mark it up 100 and then we'll we'll work from there Check it out, we've got 105, loads of room to work. going to be some magic in there in that green okay so rather than trying to sand the uh, waste of this handle down i'm going to try and take the sides in a little bit on the bandsaw Okay, so we're starting to get places now. This would actually make a really nice pinch grip. So this beauty is really starting to take shape now. And that actually feels pretty good already. And I'm confident I can make this into a very comfortable, natural pinch grip. Okay, so here's where we're at. Last time I done a natural build video, I said it's important to work from the forks down. Um, I just done the handle of this first because that you know there's obviously so much material there to work with. But before I go any further. I'm gonna I'm gonna mark out my fork sizes. Alright guys, here we are. So I wanna go with the 90 millimeter frame. Right here at the minute. Right here at the minute we are sitting at 105. So what I'll do is I'll mark 5 mil in and then I'll sand to that. And then measure again. So here we are sitting at 91 millimeters wide. This is going to be such an awesome frame, guys.
you know that this is the best thing about making natural forks like this you're not really coming at it with much of a game plan you're not working to a template you're just going with the fork and seeing where it takes you you know and this handle i'm really really happy with it it's super comfortable that's going to make a really nice pinch you can see we've already kind of got you know a little place for your thumb and I'm just going to encourage that a bit more and make a slight one here as well. It could be shot brace very comfortably as well, in fact. Very comfortably. So um, I'm probably going to shorten this hand all the way down too. But I'll leave like a bit of the bark. I'll see where it takes me. Let's get the bobbin sander going. The spindle. Alright, 150 grit spindle sander. First let's do the cup. Let's go over to the desk. I'm going to shorten the handle. Pretty cool. Nice shape. Pretty dang awesome. Alright, so let's check out what we're working with here so far. I'm really pleased with that. I think I'm really up in my natty game lately. Check that out. Just went with the fork, let the, let the fork do what it wanted to do. And I'm super, super pleased with that. Like the handle is... Nothing short of epic. Talk about blowing your own trumpet, huh? But that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that so far. Now, it's everybody's favourite time. You know what that is? Band groove time. Let's mark these. And get them cut in. Really, really happy with this catapult. Okay, finish up the final shaping. Okay guys, final shaping is complete, now we're going to go on to finish sanding. Alright, we're going to go on to our 400 grit on the spindle.
Right, let's get the brand on this for the third time. Perfect. Really happy with that. Now we're going to get this thing dyed. Right. Here we have our catapult. Quick look at it before we hit it with a dye. It's really, really nice. I'm sure a lot of you guys are screaming out there you don't want it dyed but I like it dyed it enhances the green that a little bit more you can see there we're, we see nice green patterns we're going to dye this slightly different colour to the last time I'm going to hit it with a cobalt blue We'll let that bathe for a minute or two. There's no going back now. Now, how awesome does that look? Beautiful. Outstanding. Really happy with that. What do you guys think? work this in for a minute and then we'll come back right guys so here we are out of the dye that turned out absolutely beautiful Thing. Right, we're dried, it's looking fantastic. Let's get our homemade beeswax paste on. So that's it all finished up, banded, you can see the bark took on the colour beautifully there. Really happy with that. Let me know what you guys think. See how she shoots. Just tickled it. Magnificent. Alright guys, Paul's just arrived for a visit. We've just finished this off in time so we can get a first look at it. Tell me what he thinks. Dye works nice, doesn't it? The dye is unbelievable. 
the dye is unbelievable this is the first time i've got to see any of the dyed stuff even uh, the other hazel natural the green one but the blue is different it's really different and i like the way it penetrates different parts of the green different some parts is more blue than others some parts are light even the bark the bark almost has like a, a still blue yeah it's picked it up sort of finish in it now as well as well as a wee bit of natural it's really really nice and it's so comfortable it's it so comfortable the band's probably a wee bit short for me but it's it feels fantastic so i sense a natural build off video coming on you think you could do something like this i don't as soon as you keep stealing all my forks anyway and making this stuff <laughs> i suppose we might as well put some of them to good use yeah that's next up guys build off video you guys are going to decide the winner so that's it for this one i hope you guys like the catapult as much as i like making it thanks for watching i'll see you